All right. Welcome back to another episode of Just Kidding, man. I'm Jose. I'm Kong. I'm Professor M. All right. So this week, what do we got planned for this week, guys? Like today or like the week coming up or what's going on? Well, it is the last week before Comic-Con, so I know we could cover that, but eh, we'll, we'll wait a little bit before we do that. Well, so so it's like there's it's just, so there's some weird shit going on on Facebook and shit. So what's the whole uh, Area 51 thing where all, like, all these people are <laughs> like going I've to Nevada? Like, where do I sign up? All the, <laughs> all the memes for Area 51. Yeah. Is that uh, real? Like I heard there was a disclaimer so I, saying that was fake or something, but I, I think I want to go. I think where it came from, it was from like a, a Joe Rogan podcast. Like he, because he just goes off okay. on like random riffs and just riffs. He he just like talks about random stuff. And on one of those, he might have been talking about like Area Fifty One and how like everybody should just go and storm the the whole uh, area. <laughs> You know, I was actually going to, I think I know which podcast you're talking about. I was going to watch that episode. He mm-hmm. had a dude who worked at Area 51 on that episode. Allegedly. Uh-huh. Allegedly. Uh-huh. And then, well, uh, allegedly this guy has been talking about like a lot of like alien stuff and like the government's been discrediting him, but like people actually believe it. Bob Lazar. Yeah. He yeah. has a show on Netflix too. Uh, yeah. Like a little mini documentary. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't watched it yet. I, I heard it wasn't as good as the podcast. The podcast is actually pretty good. It's interesting. Well, the, the the first I've heard of this whole Area 51 thing was when you guys messaged me uh-huh. saying, sorry, guys, I can't go to Comic-Con. I have to go storm Area 51. <laughs> I, I thought I was going. Like, <laughs> so Kong, Kong said it first, and then you said, like, yeah, I'm going too. And I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? What are, what are the chances of us, like, actually being able to make it to Area 51? I'm down. What do you, what do you think the chances are of us actually getting into Area 51? If well, I'm the dude in the back. I have a good chance. <laughs> I yeah, you don't want to be the, you don't you don't be the guy in the front. No, no, no not I that call guy. The vanguard. People not in the front. Yeah. No, the people that supposed to die. Yeah, no. Oh. No, I feel like okay. So Area Fifty One is a real place. Yeah, yeah. It's a, and like not like I don't know about most bases, but some bases you can't go on. It's trespassing. Yeah. Lot, government has property and not allowed to go on. Area Fifty One is one of them. So this whole idea that I guess is storm Area Fifty One, they can't stop all of us. So mm-hmm. if like a thousand people show up. It's still a government base. Yeah, but I, if I'm, they have to shoot the first few, I'm pretty sure they will. But they're pretty dumb, though. It's like, yeah, let's go September 20th <laughs> to Storm Area 51. It's my mom's birthday. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <True story. laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they're totally not gonna like move stuff around. Move stuff around and when to, you like, get in there, like, oh look, here's the here's the room we open. Oh, we're carrying cancer in here, right? <laughs> well, gosh, yeah. Why are you ruining they're our? They're moving research? into Area 52. <laughs> <laughs> well, not only are they going to move stuff around, but they're probably going to have tanks and stuff outside. They'd be like, no, oh, yeah. you're not getting in here. Yeah. Like, it's not happening. Yeah. But it's fun, though. It's fun. It's It's been really fun seeing all those memes of the Area 51. Have so, you seen them yet or no? I've seen a few, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's not it's not real? Or <laughs> oh, I, like? I saw one. Okay, my favorite one that I saw was, uh, what if you storm Area 51 and you enter a room and there's three Pokeballs? <laughs> well, fuck, I'll wait. I'll wait to get the Pikachu then. Don't choose, don't choose the three yet. You get a Pikachu still. You have the option. Just gotta wait a little bit. Yeah, that's the best one I've seen so far. <laughs> yeah, I've seen I've seen funny videos. Like I seen like uh, it said like uh me uh listening to like the aliens music and it shows some guy like dancing like gigging to it, hella hardcore. It's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much going on with the whole Area Fifty One. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, I I don't think they're actually gonna do it, but if they actually do. Ooh, that's gonna have like some political uh, repercussions and stuff. Well, you know what's yeah. weird? They, they probably have like landmines and shit. Not, not, not even that. Like, you know, this time that this news came out, like, are they trying to focus us on something else that we don't look at the other time? Because remember the last time these big news was they killed like the white gorilla, then Trump became president. Everybody was <laughs> focused on the ki- that the gorilla that died. They, they got shot. You they, know what? That leads into a question. It was uh, they don't want us to talk about the earthquakes? That's why. Well, that leads me to think. Um, if aliens were real, don't you think Trump would have told us already? No, Maybe. he's orange. He could or do you be think one they're of them. like, you know what? He's one of this them. Is like, <laughs> this is too like important to let him know. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure when you're sworn in as president, like you know, yeah. they tell you stuff. Yeah, but this guy's the guy that said that we, uh, we needed a man or air base during the Civil War. <laughs> during the Fourth of July speech, he said it on live live. Telecast and didn't he, like, yeah. Didn't he just make like the space force until uh, yeah, part so, of the air force? So I don't know, man. I can't. I can't believe that guy. Like, Kyle, you know, during the civil war, <laughs> during the civil war, you know, we did not have airplanes oh, or you know yeah. air bases. Yeah. He doesn't you know, know a lot of things. He doesn't know anything. 
Yeah. 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 I mean, that guy, man. that's the whole point of him being president. It's been like, yeah. And then, little puppy. no, but like, there was some movie, I think it was the sequel to the Da Vinci Code or something, where basically, like, when, whenever there's a new pope, they give mm-hmm. him all the secrets. And I guess one of the biggest secrets to tell the pope is the devil is real. Angels and demons? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Because the last one's the inferno or something. But just. Yeah. Um, the reason I'm mentioning that is like if the Pope gets told the devil is real, does mm-hmm. that mean like the president gets told, oh yeah, by the way, aliens are real, this is real, like you know, we got this going on, mm-hmm. or do they like, not tell the president like everything? Well, you know what, you know what, president did it best, Chappelle. Chappelle, <laughs> <laughs> he did that skit, the like, whole skit. Yeah. yeah, there's a meteor coming. You know, <laughs> aliens are real. Cloning's good. AIDS, we cured AIDS like a long time ago. <laughs> I love that. Episode. I haven't blown your mind yet. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Chappelle did it best. Like, he knew. He knew. That, that one's I feel always... like President Obama would have told us, like, hey, we have the cure for AIDS if they, if they knew they had a cure for AIDS. Mm-hmm. Maybe. He seems like a humanitarian, so. Eh. Well, would people Maybe. believe him? Because they didn't even believe he was a U.S. citizen. Like, oh, where's your, where's your birth certificate? Yeah, like, for the longest time. I, I've been watching Keaton Peels. He was like, because they had the... <laughs> Uh, the uh translator, anger translator, Luther. 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 I am not a Muslim. <laughs> I am not a Muslim. Watch me, I'm like. <laughs> oh, did you see the live one where it was actually? Yeah, that dude, was so that was cool. the best one. That and was then, hilarious. Um, all the old white people didn't know what's going. On. They're just like, <laughs> <laughs> like what's going so on? Funny. Like what's going on? Like, dude. And then, and then President Obama himself started like going off. And yeah, like, yeah. Wait, 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 chill, 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 man. Chill. And then Luther, yeah, Luther, he was like, no, <laughs> chill, wait, chill, wait. See, yeah. that's what made him such a great president. Like he was like on it, you know. He became a celebrity. Yeah, he did. It was really good. Him and his wife and his kid. Like he was such a good president. Yeah. I personally liked him better than Bush. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I know enough about Bush to make an opinion, but they definitely botched nine eleven. Uh, they did a lot but, of things wrong. You know, this we're not a political podcast. Maybe we should go back to our comics. Yeah. Or anime, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, did you guys see uh, the new uh, Far From Home Spider Man? Yeah, I did. Uh, I enjoyed it. Oh, what'd you guys think? I enjoyed of it. it. So, we're gonna, so this is a spoiler. Go fuck yourself. You know, don't. <laughs> so here's yeah. So when they made Mysterio, um, I I believe he wasn't like another from another world. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the whole he's a superhero from another world. Like yeah. it was good. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I, I was like, oh man, they're like switching up the origin yeah. because they have switched up a couple of things Vulture from like switch, yeah, from other now. So yeah, yeah, from other like superhero movies. So I was like, oh, they're doing the same to this one, but uh. Yeah, once they do the big reveal, like I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah. <laughs> like just like the the TV show, you it know? was obvious, but it was you know what I mean. Like it was obvious that he was like gonna be the villain, but like mm-hmm. how yeah. they gonna do it? Like, oh, yeah. he's from another world. Okay, I believe you. I believe. You. Oh, you, you know, you're not. You yeah. know, I kind of envy the people who didn't know anything about Mysterio because to them it was a big surprise. Yeah, yeah. And, and it was probably so cool for them. But for for I like the fact that you know. Basically, special effects, everything seems so real because of the drones. Yeah. Like, you know, it, 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 even though the whole thing was fake, the collateral yeah. damage and everything was real. So, like, that's probably the realest illusion they could have made. I was curious to see how they were going to pull it off because in the cartoons, he uses, like, a cube. Yeah, little cubes, Like, yeah. a little cube that he throws. And I was like, I don't think you could yeah. get away with they that. Used, they drones. So, that know, was nice. so with the, the drones, I was like, okay, that makes the sense. The part about the movie was uh, they showed, like, his actual, like, green screen suit. You know what I mean? Like, that's probably what he used yeah. for the... When they used the for the CGI and all that stuff, so that's what he used. And he wore yeah. that like that's yeah. To me, the funniest thing was uh, towards the end when they were in London, and then he was like, the one woman was like, "Do you still need me to iron the cape?" And he's like, "Yeah, I still need the cape." Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Too yeah. funny. <laughs> did, did you watch the last two? Uh, oh, of course. Yeah, we we missed the last. I, I missed the last one. Yeah, I missed the very With last the whole, cut scene, uh, but I I know it's oh it goes yeah. straight into it's for Captain Marvel too, basically. Yeah. You know, I didn't, I didn't see that until someone else pointed it out. It's probably for Captain Marvel two, which kind of makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. So that was part of Captain Marvel one. So some of the Easter eggs that they had in the movie was uh, when Mysterio said he was from the, like a different dimension or whatever, and he said like, "Oh, this is Earth six one." Uh, yeah. So oh yeah, that's yeah. That's like the comic book universe. Yeah, yeah. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal did a really good job with that. He's with that guy, actor. he's crazy, man. I love that guy. So, yeah. so the you know how it was all holographic, right? Mm-hmm. So the part, the scene where he's on the roof, right? Peter was like, he, cause he didn't want to be part of the team. So he's on the roof, like kind of moping. And then Mysterio comes out and talks to give him like a pep talk a little bit. You know what you're saying? I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Like, so he was a hologram. What if Peter like touched him? Like, would he realize he was a hologram? Sue, I don't know if that one was a hologram. Cause I feel like because they did work for Stark, some other tech is Stark tech. So I think he still had the whole jet thing or whatever for his feet. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. But that, that's definitely a loophole. If, if, you know, if he had been there. 
I think they did make some physical contact too. Yeah. And then I was thinking about uh, why didn't Peter's spider sense go off? But it was a hologram in front of him, so he can't. He didn't sense that, right? Because he, he didn't sense danger. Because there was like technically nobody there. What's this spider to, sense to speak of? The Peter Tingle. Peter, Peter Tingle. Tingle, man. Peter Tingle. Yeah. <laughs> Peter Tingle. So like I was, I was wondering why isn't it going off? Because this dude's clearly a neat bad guy. Yeah. He has bad intention, but the reason why is because it's not really him in front of him most of the time. It's uh, it's a hologram. Hologram. True. Yeah, makes sense, man. I was buying it too. I was yeah. like, "Wow, this guy's such a good guy." <laughs> <laughs> they cha- I don't know how they thought. I was like, dude, they changed his origin so much. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope, they didn't. Yeah, those bastards. It was good, man. I really liked it. Like, I, I gave it like a solid what, like a probably like a nine, maybe. It was pretty good. And then like the big reveal at the end too, like after the. First, oh, the first oh, credit, credit, the first credit. The first one, I was yeah. like, oh. So, spoilers, guys, massive next... spoilers here. So, um, in the comic books during Civil War, they have this thing called the uh, Superhero Registration Act, where basically they want people to like say, like, hey, this is me in the real world, and they got to take responsibility. Well, in that in that continuity, what happened was that Peter Parker was supporting uh, Tony Stark, and he basically told the world, hey, I'm Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. But now in this movie, he didn't say, hey, I'm Spider-Man. Mysterio did. Hey, Spider-Man's Peter Parker. And he has like all these drones. He can like, destroy, like, you know, mm. cause all the destruction. He basically blamed all of the London thing for him. Yeah, yeah but like they you gotta, framed, you gotta they framed Spider-Man. About, yeah. yeah, you gotta think about like, are you gonna believe the guy who who who's barely a hero, or the guy that no, fought with the Avengers? No, but, but it wasn't him. It was Jonah J. Jameson. Yeah, Jonah, Jonah, no, 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 I'm James saying though, like, yeah, 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 yeah. He, 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 came back. he hates Spider-Man, but I'm just talking about like the community wise. Like, are you really gonna believe the the guy that just says something, or the guy who fought with the Avengers, who fought with Tony Stark when he died? You know what I mean? Nah. Like, the, DailyBugle.com. Well, okay, put yourself in the perspective of a citizen in that universe. It's kind of, okay, you're a citizen. You're scared. Crazy stuff happens all the time. You know who these Avengers are. And then they also created Ultron. Yeah. They, technically, Tony Stark created Ultron, so, like, you know. But they saved yeah, everybody. Yeah. But they killed. Yeah, but you weren't there, so what really happened? Who was there? Who I was, was there? I was there. <laughs> I, I remember how, like, uh, one of the podcasts we talked about that... Uh, end game. How we're talking about like if you got snapped out of no 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 no. no, 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 no. We're not getting to it. We're just talking about when they got snapped out. Is they got snapped back then, right? Oh, so they came back the to basketball the game. The right? basketball so game. I talked. We talked about that. I was like, what did they get snapped back to where they came from? Yeah. Like, so the people who left, like the the basketball game. The okay, so I feel like man. it's yeah. all but been confirmed. That was funny. yeah. Like, <laughs> so I was saying, <laughs> what about the people? Because at the end of Infinity War, like the plane crashed, right? What do you came back? You're in the skies, like when you got snapped out, man. Yeah, right. You're probably dead. Yeah, they're probably dead. <laughs> or you like over time? You're basically having... like ninety nine point nine percent confirmed yeah. that your theory was yeah. correct. People died. Yeah. It kind of is what it is. <laughs> yeah. like, what if you were in the moment of dying too, and you get snapped out? Like you come back and you're dying again. It's like dude. Anyway. <laughs> it, you come back worse. You know, with as many people as as uh are alive in the world, that probably did happen. They're yeah. still dying. Yeah, that was crazy, man. I like, like your that too, though. I right away off the bat, right? Yeah, it was so mm-hmm. funny. Yeah. Freaking basketball game. Yeah. The Asian guy was all hot and shit. Yeah. <laughs> so he proved it. I mean, we're, yeah. we talked about it a little nuts, bit. Man. Yeah. They listened to us, dude. I, I feel like the only critique I have of this movie is uh, MJ's character changed a lot from the first movie to this one. Mm-hmm. The character development to me is like, are girls really like this when they like boys? Mm-hmm. If, if, if that's what it is, then I, I, I'll believe it, you know? Mm-hmm. So well, when you actually ask a girl about that, like, is, 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 is you liking a guy make you change this much? No, well, you got to remember the first movie, they didn't give her that much uh, screen time Yeah, but compared she was to like, that main main girl in the first movie. True. Mm-hmm. But she uh, was Mochi very, like, uh, emo, kind of emo. Emo, like, dark. And this one, she dark. still kind of is. But at the same time, she's, like, lighter. But they gave her they gave her more screen time, so well, you're able to see the character yeah. more. And it could be the fact that, she, like, they're friends now. That she likes him. That's probably yeah. what it is, more than anything. Kind of lighter on the darkness, you know? That was Slight funny, dark. though, with uh, Ned and uh, Betty Brant. How they like they like you know they were in love the whole trip and on the way back oh. they're like oh yeah we broke up you know <laughs> <laughs> that was nuts that was hella funny like little nuts. things like that man M- MJ's character that's uh, Zendaya right that's like the yeah. actress's name yeah man she has like this crazy like uh, TV show called uh, Euphoria that just came out I've heard of that actually it's really crazy man it, it deals with like um, teenagers in high school now how it is kind of like growing up and like it's different and how uh there's more, there's more bullying it, now yeah um. It, it it also tackles like technology also like how important it is like with high school with like sending nudes and like 
you know, doing like cam stuff and yeah, these all kids this crazy shit. Probably go on jail for the stuff they do. Yeah, probably. It, it's crazy, man. You, you guys should check it out. It's probably like four episodes in, five episodes in. It's on HBO. HBO, you said? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have that, but I have access to it. Yeah, it's really good. I, I highly recommend it. Yeah. So what else has been going on on the internet? On like maybe Instagram? Uh, well, I've been seeing that. Uh, I don't know what much about it, but the uh, Jason da- Jason David, David Frank, Frank. Um, that movie or he they're getting um, it's called White Dragon, Legend of the White Dragon. Legend of the White Dragon. They're getting crowdfunding right now, so they're trying to reach five hundred thousand, but they got up to thirty three right now, and he's barely started. Well, I I don't. I'm not gonna say like, oh, I know what's going on. But I, what I what I have seen is that him and a couple other rangers, I guess they got hired by some company, and they were doing like their own kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't know if they're power rangers per se, but they do have suits. Yeah, and I guess kind of like a post apocalyptic thing. It looks pretty dope. Uh, uh, Jason Font, who is Time Force Red, is in there. Yeah, John Young Bosch, the Black Ranger from like you know the, sec- the second Black Ranger, is in there. Uh, Sierra Hannah, she's like the Yellow Ranger from Mega Force, is in there. And there's some pink ranger. I think one from Mega Force yeah. as well. They got a okay. couple of p- people from like different generations of Power Ranger in that movie. So it's not necessarily a Power Ranger no. movie. It's no. not like a. Oh, I don't. Know. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. I feel like <clears> it's more like a spoof parody where they they can't technically call themselves Power Rangers, so they can like legally, yeah. legally. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's kind of like a Power Rangers meets Star Wars yeah. almost kind of thing. Okay, we like, all know. Like, we all know Starship Troopers. Starship Troopers uh, because they have like armor and stuff. Yeah, I don't know who the bad guys are or anything, but like they have like. The Legend of the White Dragon, it seems like it's going to be about, like, well, I don't know, but they have, like, this helmet. Mm-hmm. It looks really cool. No, like, I, read the, this helmet. I read the synopsis. It goes, um, uh, like, the, these uh, heroes, they got, uh, they were fighting, 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 and then, like, and then uh, something happened where they get, uh, the, the, the people turn on them, so mm-hmm. they go into hiding again. Okay. And then when the bad guys come back, they need him again. It's like, so they got to come back and fight, even though uh, the people, like, you know, treat them like them? shit when they left. Is, yeah. Dude, that actually is a perfect segue for a uh, anime that I saw like that. But we'll talk about it later. Is is there a white dragon in this? Is what I want to know. Well, I, that's what I'm is saying. It's, white... it's getting started, so they're still getting more details. If they could reach that 500k. Then they they could finish. They could start. So it. they probably have an idea and a script, mm-hmm. and they just need money to like shoot. Yeah, essentially yeah. fund it. But it seems like uh, even like Bat in the Sun is doing it, and Bat in the Sun was the company who did the the blood superhero marshals. Yeah, Ninja I, versus, uh, uh, superhero uh, mashups. There yeah. you go. The verses, yeah. So speaking they, of Power Rangers, cool. um, you know they're restarting, uh, rebooting again. The oh, Power yeah, Ranger the franchise, yeah, the movies they are. I thought they did a pretty good job for yeah, the first one. Right, they rebooted. Again. I mean, they didn't show much of the suit, but it was still a good solid story. But when they did, it was pretty good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Like yeah. it was an interesting take on it. Um, I guess the reason they're not well, they're a different company. Mm-hmm. So take over someone else's company and and then like continue the movie is kind of hard to do. But they could hire like the same writers and stuff. They easily could, but I guess uh, that movie didn't do too well in China. Like, uh, it did it pretty well worldwide, but I guess like if you flop in China or like you flop in a certain demographic, like, yeah. you didn't make enough money to justify making a sequel. Yeah, but uh, I would. They're gonna make more movies though, for sure. Would you guys watch it if they did like a a straight to DVD or you know movie for like a part two, a sequel for it? I'll probably watch it. So apparently there is a sequel already. They did a comic book. No, I mean like straight movie, to DVD, like movie. I'm well, talking about like a straight to DVD movie. Would you watch it? Would probably. you buy it? I'm that yeah. big of a Power Rangers fan that I would give anything a chance. Makes sense. Bring back the latex. All the spandex. The but spandex. here's what I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping that they, I kind of want them to make their <laughs> own Power Rangers for their own movie and uh-huh. just don't try to remake the original again because they keep, they keep going back to like the original ones. Like, hey, we're older. Mm. I want to see something new. Um, recent like a couple years ago, they had Hyperforce, which was a, a board game. Basically, mm-hmm. it was super cool. They never really actually morphed or whatever; it was just like, them playing a game. But um, it was it was really highly uh, critically acclaimed or whatever, and they're doing another one. Hmm. And uh, I've seen helmets already being made for that. It looks so cool. I want to see merch. I want to see toys. So, so um, so question, Professor M, didn't you order like a like a Power Ranger suit? Like, what's going? on? It's been like a year already. Because I remember you ordered, so you ordered I, it last year when we were at Comic Con. It's been a year. So what's going I, on? About it, so yeah. I was inquiring when we were at Comic Con last year. Um, I don't want to say the name of the company yet, but uh, those of you who actually know about cosplay and Power Rangers, it's that company. Uh, it's the probably the best company they have out there. But it takes for yeah, well, it's been a year already. So it'll be a year in August actually. So it hasn't been a full year yet. But I mentioned in the podcast before that uh, people are complaining, saying it's been twenty seven months. So I. I 
as soon as I started seeing that, that it's been over two years, some people, I started being more proactive. So I emailed them once a month. So I emailed them over a month ago at this point. They told me my helmet is being made mm-hmm. um, and my suit has not been started yet. They got, so, wait, they, so how long does it take got, to make a gotta, helmet? Yeah, they got to like, you got to try to see if they can send you like pictures and be like, hey man, like what's the progress? Like, can I see the progress or something? Well, Cause dude, that's uh, recently, crazy. Recently, recently, like as in a month Years. ago, they actually had a lot of canceled orders and they just finished making them. So they just posted them on and sold them instantly almost. Well, yeah, it's been a fucking almost two years. Like, what do you think? Yeah, so now the other per- the thing, though, is uh, so the canceled orders were already done. Mm-hmm. And then at that point, they sold them and they were still lagging on sending those out. So the most recent uh, shipping they did was in January. Mm-hmm. They shipped out like something like 40 suits. So what they do is they wait until they have a bunch of them. They get some kind of deal with their shipping and they send a bunch of them at once. What the so, fuck? Realistically <clears throat> speaking, if I keep hounding them, I'm probably going to have it... In next summer oh by the time i graduate uh college <laughs> so on where, where topic, to my graduation guys, i uh i ordered another helmet and another suit from the same company no nah, okay no nah, no nah, no nah. <laughs> so you know this company I again i haven't said their name yet but they're mm-hmm. they're, they're somewhere in asia um mm-hmm. so I, I found a different company i've seen a lot of their work already it looks pretty awesome uh they're based out of mexico so i decided you know what i'm gonna give them a chance if they do well I'm looking for a helmet maker or prop maker in general that can be consistent because I want helmets. I intend to have a big collection at some point. So you guys want to guess what I ordered next? You Green probably couldn't, huh? Green Ranger? I don't know. Actually, on that bottle over there, I have a water bottle over there with uh Which color? It narrows it down into Storm. What color do you think I ordered? I'm going to go with the blue one, dark blue. That was actually my first pick. Okay. So I was going to order the Navy, uh, the, the Ninja Storm, uh, Thunder Ranger, the Navy one. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, you know what? Pokemon Go. Beetle. I'm Team Instinct. You want I'm going the yellow. Oh. So I went with Yellow Ranger. So I ordered the helmet from them. I'm currently <laughs> in the process of ordering the suit for somebody else. Uh, dude, I've seen their work. It's quality too. So uh, I talked to the person who does the suits. They don't have a lot of business going on right now. So like, I can have my, that suit probably for the helmet. Uh. So the helmet... Uh, I already paid for th- this company. What they do is they'll do half up front, half when the painting's done, and then shipping. So uh, I'm hoping I have this by December, which would probably be before the other place. Okay. So once we yeah. have the helmets, we can show them off on the podcast, maybe review them. The problem with reviewing them, though, is we have no basis of comparison with other companies, really. True. But we can be like, hey, from what I saw on the show and the pictures we've seen, this looks so cool. Yeah. I got I got an idea for our cosplay for next convention. The Beetleborgs, dude. There's three of us, you know. One of them has one of us has to be the girl. Well, actually, I was hoping that because we I already ordered this one, maybe you guys join me in Ninja Storm. Ninja Storm is one of the coolest ones. <laughs> I'm I'm more of a I'm more of an SPD guy. SPD guy. I have the Shadow Ranger coming, yeah. so I'll, you want to do SPD? The only problem is you haven't seen SPD. I'll be yeah. the Power Ranger, but. In civilian clothes, not in actual, like oh. costume. Actually, some of some of the suits they have for the, they're like not civilian wear, but like they're like out of costume wear is actually pretty cool. Just, like for Ninja Storm, they have the Ninja costume that they wear outside of you know being mm-hmm. like the Power Rangers and SPD. They have their own suits too. Did, Kong, what's your favorite Power Ranger series? I just said SPD. Yeah, me yeah. too. Yours? I just said SPD. Original one. Uh, besides, it's the, original, it's the only one that I watched. Yeah, besides original. the original, everybody uh, loves the original. Uh, I love the original. In space. I'm talking about in space, outside okay. the original. In space, the in space helmets and, and suits are pretty cool too. Yeah, in space so, is pretty so dope. In space, like they're, I was because I was watching a video yesterday. I, I was looking I haven't at the Megazord. Since I was a kid. No, I was just looking at the Megazord. Like I they didn't have, twice. they didn't have like they had, they had the ship which turned into a Megazord. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where the other series, they had like a bunch of ones just combined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they ended up having more Megazords later in space because that the actual Megazord gets destroyed, and they have the ones that do combine. Was it, that's the one that that gets the gold ranger, right? They yeah, have the frozen, frozen ranger. Yeah, the frozen guy. He was frozen. Yeah. Then brought uh, him back. The first gold ranger is Tommy. Zio. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was Zio. Zio. That was uh, Not Jason. Tommy Jason. Came back. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm, but Zio. is he really gold ranger? Zio was like cool, most cool of the suits black. Eh, he had well, he had the the armor the armor the armor part which was awesome. Which you know that's gold, the best yeah, part. That's like so cool. Yeah. Anytime a ranger has that kind of armor on their shit, there's mm-hmm. the, was it the shield? Yeah. They, they all look better. They do? Because when Tommy had the green one, he would give it out. He would give it to the red, the green. No, he would give it out to the black, the black, black. and the blue one, right? Sometimes. Yeah. Now with the girls, the girls never got it. <laughs> they did, actually. Right. Uh, Pink Ranger got it in the comic books. Oh, comic the books. Only I'm one talking about it. main. 
series. Hey, it's con. This to me, this is continuity, man. It's a different. It's, so it's a good. different continuity. The comic book's yeah. so good. No, but uh, so you we down to the SPD. I I could be the fucking um, okay, I could be the red battleizer, second form. How much money you want to spend, man? Because battleizer is gonna be. Hell I could just make a cheap one. <laughs> Actually, it's funny because I told my mom that I was buying like another suit. She was like, "I can just make it for you." And I was like, "I don't know." Mom. Let's see how she do it. Let's see how she make it. She does a legit job. We could we could set up a business. There you go. If I, you know what? Maybe we should give her a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should give her because she actually does want to make more money and stuff too. So if she actually does a legit job, but I want to tell her like, look, it has to be like accurate to the show. You can't just make the suit that looks close <laughs> enough. <laughs> close enough. Because my mom's enough. actually a really good seamstress. So. Yeah. We just said it's made in Mexico. You know? Hey, but Mexico. talking about uh, props and all this stuff. Uh, so, the Ninja Ranger, the yellow one, has a giant hammer. So I was looking online because I wanted the hammer. I was hoping somebody out there makes it. Nobody makes it. Yeah, you so, probably have to make it your own. Yeah. So I actually have a couple of buddies that have 3D printers. So I was thinking if I learn how to pr- do the programming or whatever and just make the 3D print of it, they can probably do it. But uh, this thing is massive. So I don't know how big a 3D printer can do, or maybe it has to be parts you have to put it together. Mm-hmm. But um, because I haven't been able to find a prop maker for this particular uh, hammer, I was thinking of making it myself. I don't think you guys ever saw, but I did make same armor a while ago, like two, three years ago. Mm-hmm. It was uh, very bulky, but it, I actually painted it really well. It actually came out pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, it, it, I didn't make it to last, so it kind of fell apart like after a year or two. So I ended up throwing it away. Damn. But um, it's fun. And mm-hmm. it, it feels rewarding when you make stuff yourself. So I was thinking maybe I'd make my own hammer. Uh, hey, do you remember when we did uh, Attack on Titan for Anime Expo? Was it Anime Expo? <laughs> anime Expo. Oh, I've never sure. been so embarrassed in my life. Why? Oh, man. Because it was... It was... Because you... I thought we made, I'm, we I'm made, fat too, guys. Okay? I'm we fat made, too, guys. We're all fat. We so. made, it wasn't even that. We made like props out of like cardboard. Yeah, we did. And then oh, okay. we like turn around and you see somebody as like yeah. a scout and they have like <laughs> legit the, cool ones. the legit one legit. that like makes noise. You're just, you just feel like shit. You're just yeah. like, fuck. I had those actually. They were pretty cheap <laughs> That's to buy. so embarrassing. I bought them at a con and then uh, back then uh, our buddy Adrian was super into them. So I gave it to him yeah. for Christmas. Yeah, uh, he beat the crap out of his brother on Christmas Day with them, as he should. <laughs> it's <laughs> so like funny. great value versus original. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where are the great value? Where the great value yeah. ones? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, was, that was embarrassing. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to. Hey, so um, do you guys watch some of the new animes that came out? Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. So one of yes. the, one of the uh, one of the all right. So there's one that came out right now. A uh, Danchi Manchi. Is it is is it wrong to pick up a girl in the dungeon season two? I that was a oh, okay. That's a season, season two. two. Yeah, so I like amazing. that one. That one's pretty good. That's I starting seen out. The first one yet? Um, my, my second one is um, are we lost? Wait, Have pause for a second. Lost? Rewind. Hmm. Uh, is it wrong to pick up girl in a dungeon? During the first episode, is this summon a demon lord? No, no, no. no, no, no. Which anime is that one? Uh, because there's an anime oh, that recently started. I know. No, that that one was um, I think it was last season. Um. We saw that one, uh, where he has those two girls as yes, their yes, that one yes, as their. No. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what right? you're talking about. Well, I saw the first episode and I didn't really like. I, I can't no. get into it. It gets better. Does it? Uh, Don Chimanchi or that? That's no. The it's technically that it's a long ass title, but they shorten it down. It's yeah. like, is it wrong to pick up a girl in a dungeon? Like it's just so long. They they, they shorten it down, but mm-hmm. that one's really good. Like uh, basically there's like a giant like. <clears throat> There's a giant tower where they're trying to conquer it. Each level is like a different level where um, monsters are in there. They have to go there and fight. It's a dungeon. Okay. Dungeon. It's a basically. dungeon. So they're fighting. Yeah. They're trying to reach the top. So you you level up. You yeah. go from level one to level five. Yeah, five being the strongest. And cool. uh, it takes a while to level up, though. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a, it's a good one. Well, the, the start. The main character. He's kind of like a wimp, and he sees like this hot girl. And he, he falls in love with her, and she ends up saving him from a minotaur. He <laughs> he gets splashed with blood. He he sees her, and he screams, and he runs away. He runs away. every time he sees her. He screams, and he runs away. Yeah, so really? he, he's weak. He starts off weak, but as as the <laughs> series progresses, he gets better. Him. He gets yeah. better and better and better. Yeah, that that one's pretty good because his whole thing is he he's trying to be like a like a cool hero. hero. Yeah, but he's yeah. not. But he's like he's not. He's no, like, so, he's so not, what the anime yeah. is uh, they they, they get the the uh, the. They get like these blessings from their gods or their parents or their okay. gods, whatever. And each house has a different god. So he he got one from uh this uh one goddess because uh, nobody wanted to take him in their house. So he finally found a goddess who would take him, you know, give him the blessing and everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that so was who was the good. second one you mentioned? Are we lost? Okay. Basically, like four girls 
get like shipwrecked wow. and they end up on an island. And it's just basically like, why it's you just weird. Cause it's so fucking weird. Dude. <laughs> it's weird. So like first they're on like, down, like, like a little life rack. Uh-huh. They're on the ocean. It's like, fuck. Hey, what, I'm so thirsty. You guys find these things. Cause I, I was watching uh, <laughs> anime too, but I like on country roll. And I'm like, I didn't see this. Yeah. <laughs> That's what was websites. good. Cause it reminded me, it goes, I'm so thirsty. Are you thirsty? Okay. Well, go lay down, close your eyes, open your mouth. Okay. <laughs> oh <down>. god <laughs> she's about to piss in her mouth and she's like what are you what doing, are you doing? Like, the other girl trying to stop her she, the girl laid down hurry up i'm thirsty no stop no no stop her <laughs> hurry up let's go yeah so, that that, so okay. somehow they end up on the island and then mm. the island right and then like it's something like, flies past her the, the one girl she's like a survivor something flies past her she grabs like it a group of she girls. Eats it. yeah it's a group of girls uh they get like casted away yeah. from an accident and so they each have like a separate role and one of them, she's like an odd girl, but she knows how to survive the islands. So she has experience with like hunting and fishing and all that. basically yeah, all the survival, all the survival stuff. So they're all kind of leaning on her, but she's hella weird. So she's <laughs> like, let me piss in your mouth. Uh-huh, <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> so like, what whatever it, it takes to live. Yeah. She, well, she grabs something, something flies, but she grabs it and eats it. What did you just do? Nothing. <laughs> so later on one of the girls like one of the girls about to pass out from dehydration from dehydration so she, she kisses her give her some saliva and she kisses she's like wait there's something in my mouth it comes out it's like a little crick it's, leg it's oh, a you cricket leg a cricket. <laughs> you ate like a bug yeah, yeah. just like good and yeah. it's, it's about 10 girls minutes only. It's 10, 10, 10, yeah. 10 minutes per episode yeah. it's pretty good it's oh, a fun so one shorts, basically yeah. yeah it's a good one it's a good one is there another that one that one and um what well, okay, Doctor Stone is pretty good. It's getting good. I saw that one too. Second episode is getting pretty good. That was good. Like they're they're building up pretty, uh, to the point where they're trying to bring back civilization because everybody's frozen in stone. Yeah, I saw the first episode too. I haven't seen the second one yet. Has it come out? Yeah, second came out like two days back. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, how uh, basically this was gonna be a science based one versus mm-hmm. like you know magic. Mm-hmm. So like I saw when I saw it, when I first watching it, I was like it was actually pretty interesting. But I guess my only concern is. Like, what's the plot here? Like, what's the overall plot? Like, are, are they trying to solve the mystery of how they all turn to stone and that kind yeah, of stuff? Yeah, I figure this. That's probably where they're going. Because yeah. it was just like a random day. It bam, everyone got turned to stone. Yeah, it just happened. I, I think they're going to, well, be to- besides them trying to recreate, uh, you know, human civilization, yeah. they also got to try to figure out how it happened. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty and, interesting. It's and pretty it's pretty general. cool if that one dude's like a genius. He can just, like, he's figuring everything out because like, he knows all, like, he knows the science. Like, yeah. He knows, like, if you mix this and this, this happens and, like, that's just so cool. Yeah, he has like weird ass hair too. That's well, like a weird main, ass main green. protagonist of any anime they series. They always have weird hair. The one with the like the most craziest, weirdest hair color, yeah. hairstyle. Main. Yeah. Main. Well, bad or good guy? He's the main one. Yeah. Well, I like how they're trying to like distill alcohol in the first episode, and then like the the other the, you know, the side character, the helper or whatever. Mm-hmm. He's like he's not very smart, but he goes like probably the muscle, you know. Yeah. And he goes like, bomb. hey, can't you make alcohol from grapes? And he was like, you're a genius, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. Yeah, the guy yeah. figured it out first. Yeah. Um, that one and then a uh, fire soldier, oh fire squad, a yeah, fire squad. That one, that, that one, one's pretty good. That one's dope. So I was telling say that's the creator of um, a soul eater. So they have the same design can, as yeah, the I characters. Can, I can definitely see it. So the thing that I liked about this one is like they're basically they look like they're firefighters, but they're what they really are is they fight like people who like spontaneously combust and like turn into demons. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then like some of the girls have like witches hats. Looks like it looks pretty cool, but like they're not. It's not magic. It's uh like mutations basically. So like they're pyrokinetic. Yeah, um, I like the the girl character that beats up the other two characters oh. on on episode two. The episode two, is pretty I haven't good. seen two yet. Yeah, it, check it out, man. It's pretty good. There again, it's another kind of like shonen type thing. So they're gonna have a fucking tuning exam bullshit, probably. Uh, you know, so <laughs> well, the way they set up, like it's uh, it's it's the same thing, but like it started off solid. Yeah. The storyline's still solid though. You know, it's like it's something you've seen every time. Where he wants his, he has to get revenge for his family member. Yeah, so he has to get stronger, control this power. You know, oh, yeah, no, control nobody that power. And mm-hmm. nobody believes in him. Like, yeah, basically same shit, but it's Naruto. so good. Yeah. Oh, so those were the two that I saw, and I saw a third one. I don't know if you guys seen this one, but it's basically it's called uh, "To Abandon the Sacred Beast." Have you seen that? Heard of it? Yeah. If you describe it, okay. what was it so about? basically, episode one starts with uh, there's a country in a civil war, the North versus the South. Uh, I believe the South has the higher number of people and oh. they just have more technology. Okay, yeah, I know what you're mm-hmm. talking about. I've seen that okay. episode two already. Yeah, and then yeah. Yeah. Seen that one. and then and then uh, the North doesn't have like a lot of resources and stuff like that. But um, what they do have is this one doctor does experiments on people mm-hmm. and turns them into like monsters, basically. Okay. So like we have minotaurs, is, and centaurs, is, and like dragons. Is he the antagonist or the? Okay, so. Uh, 
I don't want to give a lot of... Well, it's called to abandon the sacred beast because basically what they do is they make these super soldiers and the problem is the super soldiers go out of control at some point. Mm. And they eventually lose their humanity to whatever beast they turn into. So uh, at the end of the first episode, uh, the doctor is actually a female. Uh-huh. She, uh, as part of, so I guess the North and the South decided to sign a treaty, but mm. part of the treaty was they have to kill a sacred beast, basically. So she was going to kill a sacred beast herself, but one of the sacred beasts whose name is Cain, come on, Cain, really? Betrayer? You know, like oh, okay. biblical or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Betrays her and basically sets the, the sacred beast free. So okay. some of the sacred beasts go back to their families. Like there's one, like he was a, uh, he had a daughter and he ran an orphanage and he can basically turn into a dragon. So he returned back to his family, but the problem was he was basically the dragon at this point. He's no okay. longer human. He couldn't really like speak anymore uh-huh. and he can't turn back into a human. So he's just big, this big ass dragon lived next to them in the orphanage. And then uh, at night he started losing control. Okay. Well, one of the main guys, the, uh, so the doctor had like a love interest, or I guess the doctor doctor was the love interest. Uh, the main character, um, he I don't know what his power is, mm-hmm. but he looks like Wolverine, and he has like this giant spear. He's a werewolf. He's a werewolf. Okay, he's a werewolf. Because I, I never saw him transform. He's a werewolf. I've never so again I've never seen him transform. <laughs> I did see another werewolf character, but I didn't see him transform. But him and Kane wouldn't transform during battle, but they were super strong. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess the story now is he's basically traveling and killing the sacred beast so some of them became like bank robbers and like uh one of them the story was like in episode two was really sad where like the dude just basically wanted to take care of his mom so he was going around and like asking people for money and when they didn't give him the money he would kill him and take the money anyway okay so it's like some of them are pretty like sad and dark mm-hmm. but it's uh i've seen two episodes it's, it looks pretty solid i like it there's uh the there's one that i that i really liked and it was called uh, it, it's like a comedy one. It's called Dumbbell Non Kilo Moteru. Okay, I think I saw and it on Snapchat. And it's about uh, like this girl that uh, decides to enroll in a gym, and uh, she she's like, "Fuck, I gotta get out of this." And then she sees like somebody that's in her class. At all that she's like, "Oh, maybe I could use her as an excuse." So it could be like, "Oh man, maybe we shouldn't j- sign in." And she walks over to her and she's like, "Hey, like, let's like, so what do you think?" And then all of a sudden, you just see her hard eyes, and she's like. I love it. Sign me up right now. <laughs> so the complete <laughs> opposite. And she's like, fuck. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, we, we have to come over here now, like forever. So the other girl is like, um, she's really, <laughs> she's really into like fitness and working out. Like she's psycho about it. <laughs> and meanwhile, this girl, she like, she's like, I don't understand why I'm like starting out these workouts, but I'm still fat. But that's because she starts eating like a pig and all. <laughs> like, yeah. It's hell. It's hella funny, man. You guys should check it out. Um, and then there's another one called, uh, Vinland Saga. I don't know if you guys seen that one. Vinland Saga. That one was dope. That one is uh, it's kind of like a, a a little bit of a like a slow start, but it's uh basically this uh this guy. He was like a he was in a war mm-hmm. and uh he basically faked his death and he went off to like uh his own like island and uh in that island, you know, it, it's populated. You know, he's kind of living his life peacefully. He starts a family. Well, um, one of the soldiers that was his partners, like, goes over there and he's like, hey, we need you for the war. And he's like, yeah, I don't do that anymore. He's like, yeah, but, you know, you, you know what you did. You abandoned us. If you abandon us, that's, you're basically dead. Like, Treason, basically. Yeah. So he's like, so he's like, uh, yeah, so gather your best soldiers and, and help us defeat this, uh, this guy. And he's like, all right, so I guess I got to do it. So he's. He does that, um, and there you basically see everybody kind of setting him up to kind of to kill him. Mm-hmm. Um, and he has like this little son, and his son is like this little. He was like a little weakling, um, but then he notices that his dad is going to go off to war. So then he starts like practicing like crazy, like beating up all the other kids. <laughs> and so when they ship off and they're going to go to like the war, um, he snuck on there. Oh. Yeah, so it, it's it's pretty good. It's a really good one. I I highly check uh recommend it. It's What's uh it called again? It's called uh Fin uh uh Vinland Saga. All right, I want to check that out. Yeah, it's really good. And those and uh and then there's also the the it's called Tejina Senpai and that's like a like a magician girl that is terrible at magic. You're smiling weird again. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's hilarious. So why do you guys smile this way? Is it because like this fan service? Is that what is that what it is? It's fan service. It's funny as hell though, because she's like 
trying to do her magic tricks, but he, she can't do them. And she's trying to start a magic club. So then like somebody comes in and it's, she's like, assistant, assistant. Yeah. You here, come here, help, help me perform this magic but she doesn't know how to do magic at all <laughs> and the assistant actually knows how to do like some magic and she basically relies on that guy that one's like another like 12 minute one too okay sure yeah, it's pretty good so as far as anime those are like i think we covered the main ones yes sir all right so if we go back to like the weird things happening on the internet mm-hmm. um you guys know what bob ross is right no yeah the he's the guy with the oh over there you got a. Yeah, uh, so he's got like a like fro going on. Yeah, you have he's a. Got like a little soft voice. The guy what? that paints the picture. Yeah, that guy. Why did you say that? Yeah. I know Chia that pets. guy. He he's got a chia pet over there. <laughs> yeah. So basically, uh, so my girlfriend loves Bob Ross. So I was like, I wonder what it would take to like get like a Bob Ross painting. But I've never actually looked into it. Mm-hmm. Well, recently on YouTube, uh, somebody actually did look into it. Uh-huh. So I guess he wanted to buy a Bob Ross painting for his like best friend because his uh-huh. best friend loves Bob Ross. So he find like he's like. I was looking everywhere on the internet and I cannot find where these things are. Mm-hmm. So basically it's like a 24 minute, like, or is it a 24 minute documentary? I mm-hmm. basically were all his paintings. So I guess when he died, he left all his paintings to the, basically the people who discovered him. So the people who discovered him, um, I forgot what the last names were, but they, the other ones put him on TV. The other ones basically put him on PBS and all that stuff. Well, apparently they still have like all of his paintings. Wow. So they have something like 30,000 Bob Ross paintings. Now, these things might be worth millions. Really? So the guy asked, like, hey, how does one buy one? And they're like, you don't. Like, we're not <laughs> going to sell them to you. We just have them in these boxes. Like, they're not well taken care of. They're not, like, a temperature-controlled room. So I guess what they did is they gave away, they gave them to the Smithsonian. What? Yeah. Instead of trying to sell them at all, uh-huh. they just gave them all to the, to the Smithsonian Museum. Wow. And here's the thing. So each time they had an episode, he didn't do one painting. He did three of them. Oh, so shit. he did like one before the show, one during the show, one afterwards. Uh, so, because he kind of wanted to have like an idea of what he was doing. Uh-huh. And he also wanted to have like the TV one wasn't going to be as good. And then he wanted to have like a final product. I didn't even know he was dead. He died in 95. <laughs> wow. I thought he was still alive. Jesus. Well, I wanted, yeah, same here. What so, the hell? <laughs> I kind of got into Bob Ross last year. I actually uh-huh. did a Bob Ross painting which mom has in her house. Uh-huh. Actually, it came out pretty like legit. So uh, I had somebody who helped me along with it and we're watching a video and I don't know anything about painting. So they did. Uh And it actually turned out like it was actually way easier than you think. And Uh uh, it looks fairly, fairly realistic. Is it like as good as him? Obviously not. (laughs) But like my mom actually liked it and she kept it. Um, Uh But anyway. It's interesting. Yeah. Like there's a fortune there and they're not going to sell them. They just gave them away. Yeah. They just gave gave it to the museum, which is going to like. Preserve them. them out to the at other least museums. They'll, yeah, at yeah. least they'll preserve so, it and they'll be able to do with it. I want to go to this whatever exhibit they make out of this because his stuff is like legendary, man. Where's Where's the Smithsonian at? I think it's like in DC. Oh, okay. So it's here in the US. I was in Europe. I thought yeah. it was in Switzerland. Yeah, I wasn't sure where it was at. That's why I was kind of curious nah, about it. Smithsonian is American. Uh, oh, that's okay. a weird name. That's pretty cool. But I, it's I just know. like, I guess it was a random mystery. Like, you know, how do you buy one of these? Because no, like nobody knew the answer. So mm-hmm. finally, this guy. Uh, he actually got to see a lot of them in person, mm-hmm. and they wouldn't sell him any. But I guess they let him hold them for his like you know video. So okay, it has like a little like uh, time lapse at the end. We just like holding different ones. But okay. man, it looks so cool. That's I know you guys aren't like super into art, but like I go to museums sometimes with my girlfriend, and man, some of these things like people people paint Yosemite. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, man! The when it, the level of detail in some mm-hmm. of them, mm-hmm. crazy. You know, when I'm drunk, some people say I'm an artist. <laughs> you know, I get shit done like that. <laughs> <laughs> what's your medium uh everything everything he's just like random stuff <laughs> you watch it's like dude. i mostly use vomit from when i throw up uh, uh, dude. <laughs> from when i'm really drunk <laughs> that reminds me like two weeks ago kong and i were driving around playing pokemon and like randomly some dude just fell to the ground and started throwing up and i was like what the hell is going on there seriously yeah was he playing pokemon go no oh okay it's just some random we were driving by the courthouse which Mm -hmm. is like a nice little area where we play pokemon and like some dude just fell to like his knees and he just started throwing up like chunks dude like just chunks and at first thought he was homeless then he got into his car and drove off oh fuck i was more focused on playing pokemon go yeah i didn't care yeah Yeah. that's nuts man yeah Yeah, that's crazy (laughs) 
just starts just random person just starts throwing up. So guys, we leave for Comic Con in three days. Yes. Holy crap, three days. I actually I said it but I didn't even realize how close it was. It's super close now. It's it's gonna be interesting. Um I'm curious because uh you know we typically get our like stuff the day before. You know what, what I mean? mean? Like on Wednesdays, we usually go get our lanyard yeah, and our program yeah. book no, and all well, that no, stuff. No, that's Comic Con doesn't let you in until you have the badge to get in. No, yeah. Uh, Wonder Con let you in. No, but I I no, thought Comic Con Com- never let that. We tried. They never let us in. Like we that. always get them on Actually, Thursdays. I yeah. do remember that this last year we did. We went early on Thursday. No, we waited. We waited because because before we used to go early, just go up there get our lanyards and our yeah. fucking bag. It was like, dude, At why Comic-Con. are we doing this? We could just go get it later when it's less busy. We go first. We yeah. go through the At we get all the stuff. Yeah, we go get right. all the exclusive first, then go back and get it like later on at night when there's nobody there. You know, I don't even care to go do it. Yeah, this year, as long like, as we I take have a lanyard, as long as we take a lanyard, we should yeah. be fine. I have a lanyard. I'm just gonna try not to forget my freaking uh, trolley card this time. Yeah, yeah. It costs like extra five bucks to get one. Well, it's cheaper. You just buy the. I just noticed, like, you know, on the side when we go there to the. So, guys, mm-hmm. when you go there to the trolley, there's gonna be like a person sitting on top right there. Yeah, like, they're gonna be them. selling. They're gonna be selling uh, cards. Uh, cards like three day pass, two day pass, one day mm-hmm. pass. It's cheaper than buying the. the it's the a card compass one, card because the card you actually pay for the card itself is like three bucks, four bucks. True. Yeah, and you have to keep buying it every three years. It, it expires. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. So it's cheaper just buy from that person sitting right there. Hey, do you guys want to buy a Comic Con like trolley thing, whatever you know what I mean? Yeah. So do we want to talk about how to survive Comic Con? Well, that was the first tip. That was the first tip yeah. right there. Okay, there you go, first tip. You yeah, know, you've only got like three inches of tips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, this year, I actually plan to not take breaks. Mm-hmm. So usually we take breaks, right? I yeah. love so taking breaks. What we do is we'll go in the morning, we'll get a bunch of stuff, and then we'll like go back to the hotel for lunch and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. The problem with that is uh, we usually spend like an hour at the hotel room, an hour to get there because of the trolley, mm-hmm. and like, an back, hour to get yeah. back. So it's like three hours. No, so I, yeah. no, but, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm probably I'm, overestimating I'm, it, but we're wasting, yeah. wasting like at least two hours. Yeah. And you have to walk to the trolley too and stuff. Yeah. It takes a little bit of time. So um, I don't want to do that. So when we went to WonderCon the first day, mm-hmm. I didn't go back to the hotel until I was done. Mm-hmm. I didn't take no breaks. I just kept going, going, going. And that basically freed me up to have actually more fun on Friday, or not, or not Friday, Saturday with you guys. Tip number two, no breaks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so if you don't take a break like I, mm-hmm. I'm going to do, mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to pack sandwiches. I'm going to take some, uh, some bread, take some uh, peanut butter and some honey, make some sandwiches, take them with me so I'm good to go, carry my water with me, take bathroom breaks. I'm not going to be like that Makes one sense. guy a couple wonder cons ago who like when he peed, it ricocheted. <laughs> and got into his mouth and that dude was pissed <laughs> that dude was pissed yeah um so yeah keep your mouth I, closed when you I, pee. yeah well i know we're gonna have to take breaks for sure because uh kong's, yeah, foot, kong's foot i know he's for sure gonna have to take a break um I mean, I'm, medicated, I'm, huh? i i also gotta have to take breaks i'm i can't it's too crowded they don't really let you like sit down in very many places mm-hmm. um so yeah and plus well, uh are you gonna take your foot massager this year uh probably not Probably Should not. Yeah. You guys need to use it. I haven't used it for a while. Uh, okay. You know how my thing like Yeah. It gets it gets right there, so Okay. If you guys need it. Well, I, I was it. thinking I, uh I like Thursday breaks. is like the least crowded day. That's mm-hmm. why I want to grind on that day. Yeah. So we gotta hit our exclusives, we gotta hit like a lot of the cool stuff we wanna do. Yeah. So that way I can actually hang out with you guys on Friday and Saturday. Yeah. And uh I think another that's another good tip for uh if you're trying to get exclusives is um don't just kind of, no, just like kind of divide and conquer, you know, yeah. kind of like three of us kind of do our own thing. The only, the only bad thing is, is if we're like limited on things, like if we could only get one of the exclusive, then we're kind of like, we well, go, go together, you know, no dividing and conquering there. figure it out or just cut in line. Yeah. Um, that so that's stronger. another good way. Uh, yeah. And if you really want to save up money, uh, in the mornings, it's get breakfast in the morning. <laughs> From the hotels. Yeah, our yeah. hotel, luckily, they give us free breakfast. So I'm going to get my fill, make my sandwiches, and have me a nice day. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, what else? What else? What, what else? What we do is um, you want to save money on uh, food and time. Mm-hmm. So we buy uh, we buy pizza, right? Yeah, pizza. Buy pizza. You, see that you, you buy pizza the day uh, the day before, then save it for lunch. We come back, you just eat it for lunch, you know what I mean? And then you can just go back to the go back to the convention. Yeah, you buy it for lunch. Uh, yeah, you buy it for lunch. And you eat it part, half it for lunch. The pizza for lunch. And then you save half for dinner. You know, what I mean, you save you save yourself some money. Pizza is calorie rich. Yeah. So yeah. Like, if you want to save money and yeah. you want to get the calories, like pizza, man. Because uh, a lot of places, like 
to eat around there. Like it's it's not it's not that expensive. It's just that it's packed. It gets crowded. Yeah. Because downtown itself, well, like, we're, they we're close downtown. Fringe, though. Huh? We're kind of on the fringe, though, so we get lucky yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and also what you want to do is you want to download the apps for, like, uh, s- certain places. Like, for example, for Domino's, they have this thing called the uh, um, uh, pizza. I don't know if it's a pizza tracker or something like that, but basically what you do is every week you get 10 points if you take a picture of a pizza. It doesn't necessarily have to be Domino's. So once you get 60 points, you get a free medium or free large or whatever the case is. So, you know, it's kind of good to get your points that way, too, um, before Comic-Con. That way, when Comic-Con comes by, it's like you, you're you basically getting free pizza. Oh, yeah, the thing save with Comic-Con is they also offer a free uh, bus shuttle from the whatever your hotel you're at yeah. to the convention. All you need is just a badge. You're good. You can go to any hotel stop. You can just get on the bus, and they'll take you there and back. It's free. I mean, you, you already paid for your badge, so yeah. Yeah. Um, so going back to the trolley, um, so we actually are like one of the last later stops mm-hmm. in the uh, trolley line mm-hmm. slash one of the first like people to get on mm-hmm. going towards the convention. Um, the closer you are on the trolley line, the harder it is to get in. Yeah. Because it gets packed, especially Saturday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even in the morning, like dead morning, it's packed in the morning. We People, left what like at seven, almost seven. Yeah. It was jam packed there. It was like, dude. And that was our stop. We had like so many more to go. Yeah. Like probably forty minutes worth of stops before we got there. So like everyone else screwed. Like Yeah. So so like, me and Jose's first year at Comic Con, like we stayed like in La Mesa, which La Mesa. is almost close to the border, like mm-hmm. almost an hour away. We took the trolley, nobody there in that trolley. Yeah. Because we get further, further in and in, it just kept getting more packed, packed and more packed. packed. Yeah. Yeah. The buses so, are, like you guys mentioned before, are a good option, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The only thing is that sometimes they do take forever yeah, to get to traffic, the... Because traffic. Because yeah. of traffic, yeah. Um, they closed down downtown San Diego for Comic-Con. That's four mm-hmm. days. They closed it down. You can't drive anywhere near I there. I would hate yeah. to be a local yeah. and have to go to work like an hour or two earlier because freaking Comic-Con is insane. Yeah. Well, that's when they make their most money and, is Comic-Con week. Yeah. Dude, like, and, so. and the reason we're we're recommending like the trolley, um, it, don't drive over there. The like, no. Don't drive because Parking you're not going to get there. Stuff, yeah. You're not going to get there. You're going to deal with traffic and it, uh, it's going to be... It's it's yeah. gonna be terrible. So uh, even Ubering, you're kind of like, uh, uh, you're risking it. They get yelled it. at. They get yelled at. Be- yeah, the get there. It's yeah. such a problem. So I would the trolley is your best option. The trolley are the people who ride those. Uh, park somewhere. Find the people who oh, ride yeah, those bikes. Those bike things, jump yeah. in the back. Like they have a bunch of those around. Yeah. Or the or the uh, was it the mobile um, bar? You just get in there, sit in there. There's a bar that just drives around like a bike mm. drives around. You know, you just drink there. Oh too, yeah. So, yeah. Oh Jose, weren't you saying last year they were giving away little chairs? Yeah, I, uh, last year they were, uh, I can't remember what booth, but uh, they were giving away little, uh, it's like little chairs. chairs. They're little fold-out chairs, mm-hmm. but not even like a complete fold-out chair. It was just like enough. Small. Yeah, it was just like this tripod. little thing. Tripod yeah, it was like a tripod chair, basically. Yeah. We should get you one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you should definitely you look should into that. We got, f- we got to try to find like a lightweight one that we could just clip onto our backpack so that whenever we're in line, we could just like pull it out and sit it down. We should probably go on Amazon and start doing that now. Yeah. With that prime shipping. <laughs> They yeah. might have. Oh, is this Prime? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Prime, you get Prime it like day the is next day. tomorrow and Tuesday, by the way. Oh, yeah. I need to see what they need to buy. So, if you guys want to buy anything, then I'm guys' ASAP. podcast is over. Let's, let's yeah. look at what happened. Prime. <laughs> <laughs> let's go shopping. Uh, all right. Uh, With that being said, uh, are, what are like the main exclusives that you guys are trying to get right now? For, for Comic Con? Uh, yeah. Not, I'm nothing. not telling anybody because nothing. you are not. If you, no one's stealing my stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I I really want to graffiti stuff. I'm not that much. I really want to get the Tamashi, the, t- the Tamashi, we the Goku get the Black. So we have to make some friends, maybe. Yeah. So that's kind of like the one of the main ones that I want to get. So Jose always gets lucky with the freaking <laughs> exclusive signing thing. I, I this year again, I didn't get chosen for any for really? any exclusive. Neither did Professor M. Same thing for WonderCon. I get I get a bad luck. I get, yeah, Jose got Funko. <laughs> certain areas, and not even the good no, Funko. Not though. even the good Funko. No, I got the got crappy Funko. Like, hey, certain areas, still something though. Certain yeah. areas, yeah. Me, me and Professor M are terrible with luck. You're like you're yeah. there. Hey, Other but, areas, we're great with luck. You just suck at it. Yeah. If I do get one of these fold out chairs uh, for WonderCon, remember I got up super early because I wanted that Joe Hill signing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I was told that for Comic Con, if you want to get there super early, mm-hmm. you have to like be there at three thirty. Am. Do the Troy lines run at the, at, the, at the time or no? A.M.? Yeah, they closed the uh, A.M. Whoa, dude. I don't, I don't it, know, man. For Comic-Con, is it for the up. weekend? Comic-Con weekend? Yeah. They, they changed the hours. Mm. Because I was thinking um, I might want to do that, that dead in the morning thing mm-hmm. again. 
Because I was actually one of the first people into the convention. Yeah, but you got to remember, Comic Con is different. It's, it is different. Con. It's gonna more be, people. Because people kept it for like a there, week yeah. just to go to all H. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the line is from the day before. Um, they just posted it up on uh, there's a website on there that you could Google. They should start giving out tickets for that thing. Said. Yeah, they it do them. They do them the day before. Well, people people sell. That's the whole. They give like, wristbands the day yeah. before. Yeah. But if they if they have to nice. physically put the wristband on you, you can't get away with that's, that because a lot of them do that they, they physically put the wristband on you so you can't like just give it away or sell it yeah and uh they get their tamper proof so if you tamper with them they're gonna be like oh this one's tampered with you can't go in i feel uh, they could do that but i don't think they want to do it because that's the whole point of the comic-con experience is the whole age yeah like, do you hear stories about people like just the line so back mm-hmm. all the way back out there is like dude yeah it's terrible but that's part of the comic-con experience you know what i mean like you hear about stuff like hall age would be almost impossible to get in unless you camp there for like a week yeah or two but um or a year I got so I got into a line pretty early last uh, for WonderCon for the UCC distributing, which they have a lot of like exclusive pops. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was talking to some of the guys in that line, and they say, no, if you want Funko uh, for Comic Con, if you go early enough, you can get like extra tickets, so like you can actually go. Mm-hmm. But you have it's like super early. Like yeah. if you get there like at five in the morning, you're too late. Damn, that's if it's even open that early. That's crazy. I feel like eventually Comic Con's gonna be twenty four seven. For those four days, They're, five days. They need to switch it already. They need to switch it to like Vegas or something. Cause That's Vegas what people are saying. Biggest location. But you think for, so? long, for the longest time, yeah, for the longest time, they were saying that they were going to move it over there. But, you know, I, those I are like just rumors. probably offer them more of a incentive, like in the state. Like mm-hmm. they get more paid for it. Yeah. 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 Just because it's been done there for like years, you know? 30 plus? 30 plus 40, maybe? I don't know. Well, it started there too. Yeah. yeah. It's just like tradition. Like WonderCon started in Oakland. So okay. they eventually moved to Anaheim, which was the best Denver's thing that ever happened. That convention center is legit. Yeah, I love WonderCon Anaheim. Yeah, if they change it right back there. to Oakland, no, I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't think I might not. The I, driver there might not be bad, but I. Uh, well, it, because it's Oakland, we can actually come home and yeah. we can actually save money. But uh, can we yeah. though? It, nah, I, I think it. Yeah, but I, I think it's better where it's at right now. Yeah, it's it's perfect where it's at. Um, the convention center best place to be probably uh, another probably good tip would tip would be to download uh the app that way you know like when uh things are gonna be like oh, uh, like yeah, yeah I love you the could, app. so you could download the um the like all the programming too uh so yeah, like all the panels if signings. there's a booth you want to find you mm-hmm. can just click on it and it'll tell you like where you are relative to where you actually are in the place versus yeah. having to be like where is this row yeah you can just find it that way yeah, that and it'll. I think they'll. If you look up like the exclusives too, they it'll show up on there as well. Yeah, I hope we get some good stuff. I gotta re-download it. I'm just ready to go. Yeah, it's been three months since my last convention, guys. I need my hit. <laughs> All right, guys. So, you guys ready to call this one? Yeah, I just have mm-hmm. one more question. Oh, fuck your questions. It's not even for us, really. Go for it's it. It's for like our ten viewers. Uh, go for um, it. Um, so we usually go to LA Comic Con, but like, or not usually. Last year was my first time, and it just was not, like, the greatest con. So, like, there's a long time between July and March for lo- those cons. So, does anybody else know of a different con that's, like, not too expensive in California? Between that, that time period? Yeah, Let between that time period. Yeah. <laughs> I keep talking over you. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you were done. No. <laughs> Sorry, man. All right. But, yeah. Check out. All right, man. All right, guys. This has been another episode of Just Kidding, man. And we, we are out. out. We out.